When I was a child, my father owned a janitorial company. It worked almost every night at our local showbiz pizza place. He would often bring me along to work with him so I could play all the arcade games without having to wait in line. He'd even spark up the towering animatronics and let me watch them play Happy Birthday and other quaint little jingles. It was so much fun. Until the curtains closed and it went all dark, of course. I don't know. I guess a part of me hated not being able to see the fake animals. Especially the wolf, or that big gorilla that would play on the keyboard. It would get so dark once all those circus lights stopped flashing. But knowing that they were hiding just behind the curtains, it severely spooked me. Another part of me was glad that I couldn't see them, with their large, plastic grins, those bulging eyes, and blinkless stares that trapped the false joy of their act. Anything that can remain that happy in the dark, imprisoned by crimson drapes, and frozen in time until the puppeteer presses go, just seems sinister in nature. Even the empty arcade, full of all those fantastic memories of the past day, sits dark, quiet, and abandoned. There's just something very unsettling about a place that can bequeath equal parts of joy and dread when the sun sets and the doors are locked. I've long since taken over my father's company, and we still hold the contract for this haunted place. Tonight is the first time I've brought my young son with me to work, so he can enjoy the arcade like I once did. My hope is that when my son finally builds up the courage to pull back the curtain, to view those plastic beasts, he isn't greeted with the same malevolent stare that looked down so unnaturally upon me.